my name is Mike Levitt. I've made uh, 80 different cardboard shoes of 30 different designs over the last 15 years. And ever since I made that first shoe back in 2006, there's always been this question of when are you going to do a tutorial series? This is part one of a 10 part series I'm going to do on how to make a Chuck Taylor. Following the steps in my book and in these tutorials will produce a cardboard Chuck Taylor like this. And I'll give you tips on how to improve on this one that I made. There's an important initial step we have to take first, and that is to make sure that your head is right, that you're in the right place. There's an initial fear of making mistakes, of, of screwing things up, of not making it look right. And we just have to get over that, like at the outset, it's going to happen. So that's the first tool that you need in your toolbox for this cardboard tube project is a willingness to take some risks. Next, we need to gather up some cardboard. You're gonna need the equivalent of a medium sized box, about 24 by 12 by 12 inches. Now we need to gather up the tools that we need to make a cardboard Chuck Taylor. The book that you can order has a detailed diagram and list of the tools you're gonna need. Use my template, either from my website or my book, to trace the patterns of the different parts of the Chuck Taylor out onto your pieces of cardboard. I do encourage you to order my book because there's helpful tips in there about how to size your template. It can be tricky. I also encourage you not to worry about it. I just generally want to show you how to make a cardboard shoe. You can easily just eyeball the work I'm doing here, pause the video whenever you want, and do most of the sizing and template work fully on your own. If you want to just cut one piece to start, cut out the shoe body. It's that big solid black piece for the Chuck Taylor. It's our first building block. Most everything else is sized off of it and it's the next piece we'll focus on in part two of the tutorial series. Also, I'm posting process shots of me making the Chuck Taylor on my Instagram feed too. So there might be some helpful reference there as well. Okay, let's say you've got your hands on my Chuck Taylor template. Maybe you've downloaded and printed it from my website link, or you've got a copy of my book, or you're willing to just give it all a stab on your own, and you're just waiting for me to move on to the next step. Well, okay, we're almost there. Just make sure to know that there's two very different ways to go about cutting all the different pieces of the shoe. Number one, you can cut all the pieces out ahead of time, or number two, you can cut as you go. It's just a personal preference for you, how you like to do things. I like cutting as I go. For these demo purposes, I'm gonna show you how I cut a few pieces out in advance. Sometimes it's nice to have all your ingredients out in front of you before you start to cook. Sometimes the cutting itself can be a pain and I really don't want you to get bogged down in something that seems hard right at the start, like cutting cardboard. If you want to skip this whole series, you can order my book and probably be done with your own cardboard shoe before I even upload my next video. But until then, have fun, good luck, and let me know if you have any questions. I am trying to answer them all as best as I can. Bye-bye.